and there is nothing more scary than having a fire at sea. Sinking would be a close second, says Art. I would agree. Okay, tech tip 35, overcurrent protection. Yes, there's the smoke coming out. Always fun at Marine Tech. You can talk about, you know, what happens when the smoke comes out, but visualizing is the way to go. So we got our students outside today and did a little overcurrent experiment to let them see what really happens in that situation. Generally catches fire. I guess we should get the fire extinguisher soon. Well, here's a classic example we set up. I have OCP. I've got a large fuse and a battery switch, but we're going to pretend that this was a anchor winch and a uh, battery up in the bow of the boat. And as we new owner gets the boat, so there's your story. It's got a reading light. And as the new boat owner does, a lot of boat owners, they do their own electrical work. So the assumption was if it had a reading light, then all I'm going to do is piggyback off from it for one more reading light. Easy enough, one more reading light. I take, how hard can it be is what most boat owners say. They don't need to be an ABYC, you know, certified electrician. You got a red and a yellow and a red, you know, over to the new light, red, yellow. And we just piggyback behind the scenes in the anchor locker this new reading light. So now my partner is super excited. And I also, because it's a new boat to me, we buy stuff. So I've got a new picture that I'm going to hang on the wall right above the, the bunk. And inadvertently, when I mount that on the wall, I run a sheetrock screw or fastener right through into the conductor. Well, that's a short circuit, right? Now, this behind the scenes, you gotta remember you're in your pajamas now and you're gonna go and turn on the, the light to read your favorite novel and what's gonna happen? Well, we've got a big fuse for the anchor winch, but when the previous owner installed the reading light with much smaller gauge wire, they never put in the proper OCP. And so what typically happens, it doesn't always work, but we're gonna find out We've got our positive and negative here. We're gonna turn this on. And by the way, you do not want to breathe this smoke. Getting close. Safety glasses, all of you are in the back, right? And so we turn this circuit on to see what happens. It's getting hot, but it is not actually short-circuited. Oh, well, maybe it was short-circuited. So we are getting a path and look at the insulation is starting to melt, right? So allowable ampacity, we're exceeding that right now. We didn't put an amp clamp on here, but as this thing is running and we exceed 105 C, which is our marine wire, then what happens? So we're talking about, and it's not terrible. We're talking 200 degrees. 300 degrees over here. The problem is you've got to vacate the boat. If you don't shut this off at the source, your boat's going to burn down. It works. Right to the water line. So this is the tech tip. Make sure every wire, right, that you install or just look around your vessel, it has to have some sort of OCP or you've got the potential for lighting the boat right on fire. Okay, let's recap that because we just got in the classroom. We've been talking about wire selection, 28 new technicians, that's what we do here. And they're just like, whoa, you had OCP. Yeah, we did. But remember, you look around a boat uh, and when you're selecting new wire size, this battery cable right here could easily take that 200 amps. It was when they piggybacked on a smaller cable and didn't put any kind of OCP, no fuse. That would have saved this boat from burning down. And so that simple process, it wasn't adding a second light, that was one of the questions. It was the sheetrock screw that, or mounting the artwork, that screw that caused the short circuit. And when you short circuit a wire, 
very low resistance, you get maximum amperage. And that couple hundred amps just melted this. We had a 12 and a 14 gauge wire on here, and those are like 35, 45 amps most. So we're doing, you know, 3x, 4x of what it's allowed. And of course, the insulation, as you saw, gets hot, it melts, it burns, catches the wood bulkhead on fire. It's just a bad day, bad day at sea. So, when installing something new, make sure it always has OCP. And if you see any wires, ABYC says that you're supposed to have OCP within seven inches of a battery or a source of power, you know, battery switches, distribution bars and stuff. If you see conductors leaving these sources of power and they don't have any kind of circuit protection, then it's your job to figure out why and get it in there and make it safe. So that's the tech tip. Thanks for watching.